is a serious issue. Um, and the you know falling birth rates are a serious issue. And you know, I'm not just saying that as someone who's about to pop one out. But there's a you know there it's something that I think everybody needs to care about. And you know, where I probably differ is that I think rather than having uh, negative in- incentives, if that's a kind of way of putting it, of taxing the childless, even though that was just one of your policy suggestions and it probably it says something about our discussion about demography that that is what's been leapt upon. You know, looking at things like, if you ask women, what, what is it that stops you from or pre- prevents you from having children and maybe you put it off till later life? It's things like, you know, things that I'm having to grapple with now, um, you know, childcare and how to deal with that, the price of that. So I would argue for 24-hour universal state-provided childcare as a radical policy of where, where a government could spend some money. Um, you look at things like the way in which this is being discussed, not by Paul, but by others, can end up sounding quite dystopian. So, for example, there was that draft document released by the WHO about alcohol in pregnancy. And what it said was, it was a draft document, but it told you something about the way this gets discussed, that there should be a policy where governments would encourage all women of childbearing age, which is very young, Mm. (laughs) because you get your period very young, some people, to not drink just in case they got pregnant. And I think that sends alarm bells off in women's head where they think this really does sound like Gilead or something. So the way in which we talk about this is important. Uh, Paul, uh, why should Ella be looking, and, and women like Ella, be looking to pop them out, as she describes it? Well, the general census number showed a growth of the population. But if you actually dig beneath the surface, the big growth is in the over 70s and the over 90s particularly. And we are actually seeing a big decline in the under fives. At the same time, we're short of labour everywhere. Now, there are always going to be people, as you were talking about earlier, who aren't working and should work. And that's another issue. But we are today seeing a similar number of people entering and leaving the workforce. But we have a huge demand for people. And people talk about technology, but I don't see the robots making the appointment at the doctors to take mum. I don't see the robots fixing my electric problem or my plumbing problem or helping with the garden, whatever it is. So I think we need the labour. Um, we need another generation of workers. And those who don't so have just children so are going to rely so just, on them. So just import them? Well, we can import them. If we decide we want to outsource our childbearing, that it really doesn't matter, that we can just sweep up people from the rest of the world. They can do the childbearing. And thank you very much. When they've done the hard work and the nappy changing, we'll sweep them up. That's fine. OK, if that's the decision the country wants to come to. But I think we should take a bit more responsibility ourselves. Apart from the fact, as you and I have discussed in the past, Children are the greatest joy you can have in your life. 